Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of YouTube. This is Pastor Dow. And, you know, I, I just thought I'd come in here with a very interesting observation. And some of you, hey, it may not be new whatsoever at all, but I just thought I'd try my best, at least try my best again since I'm picking up a lot of new subscribers and not a lot of new listeners, to try to approach this thing from a very simplistic attitude and a very simple perspective and viewpoint to try to explain this thing in a nutshell very fast and very quick the people that have gone on before us I'm talking about our fathers our mothers and the generations that uh, was before them and then they succeeded them they had to be probably one of the most dumbest and stupid generation um, that there's ever been I'm talking about our parents our great grandparents and our great great grandparents now I can actually give our great great grandparents a little bit more of the benefit of the doubt because I mean, after all, they held fast to the standard. But you look at our great grandparents and our parents back then. I mean, I'm talking about. I'm going back in the time when we're trying to uh, understand what a, what you know economics is all about. Because for over six thousand years, gold and silver has been money. I mean, flat out money. But then all of a sudden, 1971, they take us totally off the gold standard and all of a sudden you've got all these banks jacking the wealth and the riches from the people and we've actually sat up here and believed that you can take something that is paper that you can put a match to and literally just burn it up into oblivion I mean just 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 take it out but you can put a match to this and you ain't gonna burn this thing up like that but you can put a match to this and and we have been duped and deceived as stupid as we are to believe that that paper is money. And this whole system is rigged and popped, I mean, propped up, literally propped up by the so called benevolent word of the United States of America. I mean, it's nothing but a declaration. That's all it is. It's nothing but a word. Now, if you ask the rest of the countries in the world how good the word is of America, they'll quickly tell you. And these banksters have done a job at duping and deceiving us. Look at our nation. We're dumb dormant, docile, and demoralized as a people. And we're sitting there watching our uh, health as well as our wealth erode from us on a continual basis, month by month by month, year by year by year. And, hey, you can forget about it. Hey, we none of us have what you call expendable income anymore. anymore. None of us have expendable income. Now watch this, disposable income. And... There's no savings, and you can't save. People are actually dipping into the retirement kitty just in order to survive. We're watching commodities, we're watching energy, we're watching prices and everything soar literally through the roof. And you know what some of us are doing? We have taken a placebo, and we stay what we call optimistic, um, which I think it's reverse psychology. I think you're very pessimistic. It's just that you don't understand what you really truly are because... Somehow, someone you believe it, it's going to turn around. It's going to get better. No, this nightmare is not going to turn around. And it ain't going to get any better. And price is going to continue to keep going through the roof. What I tell you about a month ago at gas, has your prices dropped yet? Huh? Are we in a war? What do you call a real war yet? Huh? What, what, what is the reason why it continues to keep going up through the roof? Huh? Did not Pastor Dow tell you? Did I not tell you? Huh? Well, you can look forward to more and more and more of business as usual. It makes no difference who gets in office. Your savior and your salvation, when it comes to functioning in his life right here, right now, in this environment, here in America, it's not going to be in no Democrat or no Republican president. They're all rats. Everybody in Congress is rats. That's all there is to it. And if you did have a few people that wasn't rats, I mean, you, the, the house is so full of rats and the stench is just reaching all the way up to heaven. No wonder the ozone layer is just about depleted because of all the wickedness, all the iniquity, all the injustices. I mean, that's going on in this world. I've said it once, I've said it a thousand times. Listen to me real close. The middle class, I, you, you didn't join us, the poor folks. So now I'm talking to the poor folks because when it's all said and done, it's rich. And it's poor. That's exactly where we're heading. I don't care if you like to hear that or not. It's still the truth. Because you know why? 
who can go against what I just got finished saying? Stay pessimistic. Stay, stay up. I mean, stay optimistic all you want, and it still ain't gonna change nothing. You know what thing that has changed? We have went from bad to worse, and then now we go from worse into the eternal lake of fire. That's where we go, because most of us are not students of history, and we can't see the forest for the trees. So when we tell you how bad situations are, and it's amazing how the human spirit can roll with the punches when it comes to trusting in oppression. If we're sick, you notice how we can still function and do the things that we need to do no matter what, unless that sickness just literally has us bedridden. Then we have to depend upon the benevolence of others. That's why it's important for you to build strong relationships and get all of this psychotic, chaotic attitude out of your mind. Because the truth is, some of you, after years of watching me, have not made one move to prepare. And now we're standing in the door of an economic collapse. We're standing in a door of where commodity and food prices are going to continue to keep eroding your purchasing power because this dollar is not even worth the paper that is actually printed on. And we're still watching a steady incline of metals continue to keep going up. Some of you have burned so many bridges that there's no way that they will ever be crossed again. You know why? Because the people who you have done wrong will not let you cross that bridge because they're not about to get burnt from a hypocrite who said that they have changed and they haven't. Huh? Remember, after the first and second admonition, reject. I don't blame you. I teach people. If you done dealt with people once or twice and they, and, and they done... Went up to the second one, there's no third one. You can forget about it because you should have learned from those mistakes then. And that's just the truth. Well, you're going to find out your Savior, so-called Savior, the United States of America is not no Savior at all. I'll say it again, the powers that be, they're finished, they're done with this country. They've just about done ran it and sucked it bone dry. There's no such thing as no what you call an American system. You can forget about that. If you don't believe me, look at the people who's up there jacking you. It's not the rich ruling over us. Look at Mick Romney, huh? a billionaire, a billionaire. huh? He's going to run for president. And who you think he's going to put interest first and foremost in mind? The banksters. You better believe it. Well, I believe that one day, um, one day, one day, as the old proverb says, when the student is ready, to be taught, then the teacher will appear. And right now, America, we haven't suffered enough pain and anguish and heartache yet. So that's the reason why most people vote for these candidates, even though your vote not doing any good. We vote for the candidates that's going to continue to perpetuate the welfare system of our mind. When years and years and years ago, you know, you've had people tell you, you better get ready, better get prepared. Some of you have heard this and you're feeling the pain right now. You know what? Now the guilt, the shame, and the condemnation of it is weighing heavily on you. I wish I could tell you it's going to get better, but it's not. A wise man foresees the evil that is coming, and you know what he does? He prepares his house. How prepared is your house?